Hello and welcome to episode of my demo review. We're going to watch a guy by the name of Mighty Stone playing on ESEA. And we are going to read. Alright, so let's hop right into it like we usually do. Let's see what we got here. Alright. So, starting Terra side. On Burno, chest armor. Pretty good. The pug, those are really bad. So it looks like I should probably rush all together, or you guys are gonna do something. I need to why you walk in here. Walk here. They can't hear you. Push up. They can only see you. As soon as you get like right by this door there a little bit further up, that's when they start hearing you. That's when you should walk if you're going to be sticky, otherwise there's no point in walking up there. Okay. okay. Uh, shots like aren't even on that guy. Your shots are just off. Last guy's in construction. And kill him also. Next round. Won that round, so you should be buying anti eco equipment. So machine gun, really good. You got head armor. Awesome. On a decoy, alright. Alright, so you guys are all stacking towards Badato, but you guys aren't doing shit. Let me take up first. Almost dies. Now let's go to smoke. Cool. You guys are executing, so they know it's probably going to be a BZ. No one guy's cool. I mean, it's a bot. I should probably be rushing this guy. out with a submachine gun. No real reason to be scared of him. That guy. You only have a fucking pistol if you can't kill him with a machine gun. That's just gonna get the fucking rain. Being like last guy over there. Alright, so now you know they bought pistol armor. So you should be thinking, right, they're probably gonna have nothing here. Maybe hopefully anything else. We can see the, the Don. Is oh, yeah, the Don's fucking retarded. I played against him before. Yeah, he's really stupid. I don't like him. So he's gonna force up every round. So all you have to do is basically have your submachine gun out this round and just drag him. Really good because you now they have to be having nothing. Just got shot up from sight, but uh, I didn't recognize that. Or maybe you did and you're like, fuck it, I'm not scared. I don't know. Alright, this is where the real critique is going to happen. So I'm really going to be looking at your crosshair placement, your accuracy. Gun control. Let's see what you got here. Alright, look at Aim for the head. I think you're kinda aiming for the head. Walking, not making any noise. There's a free to walk back there when your teammate's already fucking making all that noise. If he's getting shot at, you gotta be fucking right there. Luckily he didn't die. Died and you didn't close enough to get the trade, and that was fucked up. Looks like you're just destroying them on A site. Go back to the corner. Oh, that guy was Arches. On that guy, you know, that was Dark Room. Actually, you need to work on your flicks there. Look to him, and it was like right above his head, and then he sprayed, and then he Recoil control, yeah, but it was above his head, so you're just shooting above his head. All right. Aggressive play style. Now that I have an AK, I wouldn't play aggressive because I know I don't want to give him a gun. 
I'd rather let them play to me or slowly clear it with my teammates. Are you walking up here? Really, really good crosser placement. You know where to put it, where they can be at. Common spots. Basically playing it all out. Still 2B. I mean, yeah, 2B. Unfortunately, gotta and raise them a little bit better with the crosshair place there, but oh well. That round. Alright, let's go check Alright, common spot. Kind of on the corner, as you can see, it's like right near it. Get turned for the flash or hiding from it, I guess. Let's see what else we got here. Alright, 4v3. You gotta be thinking this though, either they have 2A or 2B, and either this guy's gonna be in the arches over here, or they're both gonna be on truck side, or, I mean, as we can see, rotating, so he's gonna be over here, but they could be just double stack B because you guys did first hit up B. Really and again, if you don't run out, you should know that's a very common angle people like to play at. Full arches, it would have just crossed, that would have forced him to react to that and maybe go library then you could have came back or just gone, you could have gone library right or rap day a couple things done there instead of just going straight down and not checking this yeah still win that That's cool fast forward just a little bit get full nades uh one thing i'm gonna say is yeah keep up the good work with economy management basically you're buying up nades Everything, maybe get a Molotov, that's all I want to say. It's that way, it's just really easy for you to clear a corner without av actually having to check it. Because he's not going to hold that angle. He sees like four of you fuckers right there. He sees four of you guys. He's, if he takes the angle, he's going to die. If he doesn't, you can kill him because he's running away. Got to check there and above the, the oranges. So it's really, there's a lot of angles when you come B that you really have to like either rely fast on reactions, you were lit, so maybe you shouldn't have gone first. Or even gone first, luckily like, they got the trade right because they were close, so I don't know. If you wanted to live, I wouldn't have gone first, it's a pug. I don't know if you want to play with your teammates or not. Uh, you guys lose that round, you shouldn't be buying an AK and armor. Deck died, armor and dates. A lot better, because you definitely need dates on Inferno. A nade heavy map because you need that to cut off different angles because there's so many fucking angles on this goddamn map. So taking this AK-47 armor buy is really risky, depending on what they do. So like, I mean, if you can like just out shoot them by like rushing somewhere, but you take it slow every time. So you're probably gonna need like a pop flash. See your teammate throw that fucking flash, dude? That's like the perfect time right now. And, and you gotta realize, teammates throwing a flash, obviously the dumbass is probably gonna run out, right, without checking anything. So he just wants to see if there's a guy sandbags. That's the only thing he's worried about. If you would have gone with them, you would have seen both of them because they were both fucking blown. 
killed. You probably would have killed him instead of you dying here. And then the second guy, probably gonna hop up here. You probably would have heard him hop up wagon, and then you could just spray it. Cause you gotta remember, this is kind of like a, it looks like a one-way smoke, and people will throw. And that kind of was, and he was able to catch you off guard. Alright, you got full nades. Hopefully you can get a drop from fucking solo. Or you can hop. Nope. Oh, never mind. He came instead. Or he wanted to hop back. I don't know. Alright, they're only coming in again. Your sprays. I mean, you pulled down, which is good. Like, you, get, you gotta know the spray pattern there, and you just gotta know how to spray correctly when they're moving. That's just you knowing the spray pattern, adjusting for it, and having good crosshair placement. Those are all really bad right there. And you definitely should not be losing those fucking pistols. It's an easy way to get RWS. So now you bought a but you only have one smoke. Oh, life's not gonna be easy, dude. Alright, so now it looks like you wanna go quick caps. You're just changing it up. You're like, fuck B, fuck banana. I'm tired of this shit, I'm dying the pistols. Alright, so by the time you reach here, because you're walking, they can already be pushing up. So your crosshair placement is a little higher. Or getting ready for them to wide peak or something. Uh, they could be window room. They could be boiler. Definitely by now. So just keep that in mind. Could be in dark room already. Nice shot. Fire. Uh, you should have saw a pistol on that guy, so you should be thinking he's like, alright, maybe they're just doing pistol armor. As we can see, two of them right now have chest armor only, and the other two don't. That pistol. Guy had a fucking. Uh, a P2000. Oh, yeah, they're safe. Definitely. Alright, so you're coming to a very close angle here. And you know they have pistols, so you better help this guy either misses his fucking shots or you just have the fucking quickest reaction times of anyone I've ever seen. Because this is what's going to happen. Either he's going to headshot you right away as you push out slowly here, or you're just going to kill him. And oh my god, I'm dead from like a mile away. So, <laughs> if you're going to be going to close angles, the only way you're going to win this is if you take him by surprise. Like, if you can get that close right, next thing you got to do is like, run, peek, balcony, because you know they're, they only have pistol and armor. Like that. So all you need to do is just run peek it and just get inter inter that guy as well as making sure he can't hit a quick shot. Because yeah, usually these guys aren't going to hit shots like that, like moving quick. But you walk into their crosshair, dude, it's going to be an easy shot for them any day. They can collapse again. I would need for you to be walking, like your teammates already run up. So they know someone's in abs, it doesn't matter if you're slow or not. They're, they're gonna expect someone in there. And now you guys have no one watching Banana. Here and push down, bottom mid. Be a great time for you to do a 180 turn and look at this guy in the fucking. Alright, you heard him. But if you don't see him, like right here, like in this corner, he's probably pushing up to all mid. I mean, so you gotta turn around and look at him. Because more than likely, if they push banana, especially when you guys are saving and they know that, they're going to push. They're going to keep pushing. They don't care. They're not going to fall back. This is like a scrim or something. Okay, you only have 3,700 to buy. Uh, maybe we should buy a Khalil. Put in the Khalil spray and use that. Because this AK armor buy, yeah, you're not going to have fun if you have no nades. Alright, you decided to go mid. Fairly risky because they've won a few rounds in a row, so they can buy ops. Kind of keeping a head level, which I like. Okay, you peek it. So you know there's two banana, and there has to be two A. One in apartments, one mid, and then two banana. Oh, you should be able to figure that out on your own without having me to tell you. Because you can hear and see all your different guys dying or getting shot at, so you should know exactly what they're doing. They're doing 
They played through banana last round. Looks like. Alright, so you could think there's someone like balcony, someone pit, I don't know, something like that, right? Through that smoke, even the banana, I mean, even the abs long haul. So you know there's at least one truck side balcony. I would assume he's balcony, right? Because fuck that, that smoke's really deep, that means he's pretty deep down. He had to be like close or at an angle. So you know, one push banana, he died. That should signal to you that, hey, because I think your teammate killed the first guy, right? He got killed by that guy, and then that guy just killed that guy. <laughs> so you should be thinking to yourself, hey, he's probably open, or at least one guy there. Either we could slow take this like you are now, and let them do a 1-1 one -one split, and then push up A or B together, or you could just ran towards B. So you know there's one guy in pit. You know where this guy's at. The second guy, like, as we can see, like, quick rotate in the minimap, but he's probably somewhere on B. So you know this guy's fucking pit. Motherfucker. Okay. Oh, okay, this is a good one. 1v1 clutch. You should know he's already rotating because he's already heard both the guns. And you should know this is on top of balcony because. Oh, yeah, you saw the guy in your trip rolls. And. I guess you had to because you probably, you probably had enough time to pick up the bomb on top of balcony, but you. Was, again, you saw that guy when you picked up that M4. Don't just focus solely on what you see. Where your crosshairs at. I don't know if you're playing a 4x3, maybe that's it, that's why you didn't see that guy, but if you're not, playing 60x9, you definitely gotta not have a, that much tunnel vision. Like you, I know you're focused on the gun, but as you were turning, you saw them coming around the arch corner. So just keep that in mind next time. Right. So 7-6, have enough to buy an AK armor and full nades. Thank you. That's pretty far away. Right? So you know this guy is And you need kills alright, so that was a really good play by you. Good pre fire on the corner. You know that smoke came down from the guy. Oh god, the fucking see. Get that cool. Clear it really quick so your teammates know if there's one here or not. You're taking too much time for them to rotate into construction. Put your teammates in a bad spot. Because you took so long to clear out sight, right? Because you're just too scared. You get here to construction garden area really late, and this opera's already holding it. So again, clear out your angles a lot faster, especially when you kill two, right? When you kill two, usually that's how they play it. Obviously, these guys play three every once in a while. Fuck that. Just go in there, clear it real quick. If there's a third guy there, either you kill him or you get killed, and then you tell your teammates, right, there's just one guy, kill him, and then down on sight, and then play the plant. Just win that awesome. Fast forward this, you got full nades again, which is really good because you have plenty. Okay, flash. I think it goes too far down. Definitely overcome the spray. Definitely the spray while you're in smoke and take this up you. You let that guy pick up the gun. Three. Ability. I can see it's like the worst point. You just pull down the AK. You just don't know how to, I guess you don't know the spray pattern properly. Be able to easily kill these guys, entire body. Even if they're moving like that, it should be relatively spray down with you. Able to predict kind of what they're gonna do, or at least staying a little ahead of them. Because I mean, he's a really tight space. It's really narrow. Really easy to spray him down right there, especially when he's speaking like that. I mean, worst comes to worst, you should at least. 50, but I'm pretty sure he was already lit, so you definitely should have killed him. Alright, so it's 9 6. You guys have a good T side. CT side and Pug is really where it comes down to. Because that's usually the hardest side, because people are really, really stupid. And they don't know how to hold sides down properly. Especially on Inferno. 
They don't know how to hold fucking banana. Fucking joke. Alright, you got the kit. It's cool and you're getting HE grenade. I'm assuming you're going B and stacking this with them. Or you're gonna throw this down mid. Alright, so obviously you could have thrown it a little bit closer to the wall and straight down instead of throwing it straight towards uh, T RAM, but because you did try to do that, they threw nades and they just fucked you up. Fortunate, what happens, teammates still win it. Go to the next round. Alright, you got a UMP, full nades, head armor, which is awesome. Because on PT side, you definitely want head armor. Uh. Depends really how you're gonna play this. If you're gonna play aggressive, right? Because you don't give a shit. Let's see. They planted the bomb. So either they're gonna force up, right? Or they're gonna save. And it looks like they're fo they forced up this round. Quick rotating, right? You know, there's a guy in Mexico mid. It looks like they're just gonna backtrack on the day. out and as soon as your teammate dies you get that trade you should be going back to truck side because you have no one on that side that's a very awkward angle and kind of boon guy yeah, I don't know how the fuck you got there but he did because your fucking team is a retard right round so they're all force fine or you should be saving you're gonna have to save a couple rounds around next round probably That's not, that's not bad. It's good economy management right there. I'm kind of just quickly hiding. Looks like they're going to go B though. Get over. Oh, you guys can definitely want shots. Still have enough to buy next round. Again, really good economy management by you. Gonna do a four stack B again. What do you have to do not to stack? That's amazing. All right, that guy is probably supposed to flank. Gotta be careful, guys, holding the flank. A anyways, it's like a, a save round anyway, so it's whatever. So now you can full buy. All right, mistake number one you just did was buying head armor. When they're they've won three rounds in a row, they're probably gonna have fucking eight days here. No need for head armor. Very useless. I don't buy head armor on CT side, especially in pugs when I know they're gonna be full buying. So, because you could have got a kit instead, could have made a difference. Here you go with this. Okay, I your stack and B. You haven't played B yet. I don't know why you're coming here. They just go A. Unless they said. Stack B, which would be stupid because first gun around, so you don't know what the fuck they're gonna do. Alright, so you're taking banana control because you guys killed three so far. Good crosshair placement on their head ish, maybe a little higher. I think it's on the head. Try not to dip it too low. Cool. If you can right at head level. That was really easy to break for you because it's fucking A1S. That has like no recoil at all. And you guys win this round. Now you have a kit. It's again. You guys are four second B. I don't even understand what the fuck the point of this is. This guy with the fuck? Not protecting his fucking teammates, that's so stupid. Alright, any smart player is gonna know you guys have three here. <laughs> and 
other side of reason. Alright, your teammate pushed in. He's battling like 30. Your other teammate pushed down fucking mid. There's no reason for you to rotate off B. Now you realize, oh shit, my team. You gotta go back to banana. I'm gonna fast forward through this. Trying to you guys. Alright, cool. Alright, awesome. Fast forward. Fly around yourself. Aid. Down. They have no banana control. You're pushing up. kill you. So that was a good time to have head armor that you saved throughout these rounds. Even if I didn't have head armor the past two rounds, I would have bought this round because I knew we won two rounds in a row and they only won three, so they're probably going to be round, or at least force buying. So just pistols and that was Mac 10, that head armor. Alright, you guys still win that round. So I would think that they're probably going to be forcing here or saving still. Did buy armor last round. They have a decent loss bonus going. The buying head armor here is a pretty good idea, just in case you never know what to do. Because it's a very weird situation. They're, they're not playing in a proper economy match. So as we can see, one has a fucking lock, MP7, and these have AKs. And um, obviously this guy's AFK, so we don't know what the fuck he's gonna buy. And he just buys tech nine no head armor here because he fucking started. And so you're holding arches, good smoke mid, laying it. You're holding a very common angle, and you're also really exposing yourself. You shouldn't be looking at the smoke left side of the smoke. Not good crosshair placement because they're not going to come straight at you to the smoke. They're going to cross to the left, right? Try to get through the smoke as fast as possible. That's because you can make a lot of contact with B. You rotate so you can die. That's true. Good by you. Now you guys have a guy push down alt mid. That's alt to be clear. Takes mid, takes the bomb tag, dies. So instead of living like he should, right, to catch the rotations off, he got really frag hungry, or to get kills, so that's his problem if he does lose this round. Otherwise, it was very easy round for you guys. You guys could have stacked B. Flashed. Didn't go that far as you can see from the dot there. Flash. And it looks like. like that because it's going to be harder for him to recoil control especially when you know how wide you're going to be uh, 20 seconds left they can easily go back a they kill your teammate arches i think you dink that guy or already lit i don't know i was paying attention so your a guy was really stupid he played arches instead of playing like truck side and pit or in sight so he just he did really fucked up clear your corners Lines you call it a flash or something. No one guy could be the other guy could be probably boiler side, porch side, or in apartments by now. Alright, you can see why and again the guy's opting for pit, so he's probably gonna see. He kills you, they win that round. Next round. Alright, so still full buy. Because you got dropped a gun. That's why that guy. But again, you buy head armor, they won that round. Probably gonna buy up. And you get hit. Is because I don't really trust these guys. I wouldn't trust these guys. I think they're retarded as fuck. I always think that. Well, not at all of them. Obviously, though, those pretty. Playing, well, I don't know how smart he is. And nice headshot. Because you're keeping your crosshair placement at the head level. Good. You flash. You got him out of there. And you guys win this round. Twice. Try not to waste too much of your ammo. You only get two extra clips here. And your team push banana. Dies. Down. Alright. Get out. Be careful of that. For flash? That's 
Okay, flash. Pushing in. And looks like they're gonna go back A. And looks like you're not gonna make any contact. He made arches pushed up, he gets smoked off. That's push smoke probably dies. He made harvest dies and holy shit. It's gonna be really hard for you guys to retake this, especially 1v3. Aren't just to save here. You have like no money. And you do. So they could like game sense. No, I fucking hide save. And economy management. Keep your crosshair at head level, it's awesome. Just hope you can hit those instant shots when they cross or when they peek it. Teammates making contact on B. They already got water. You should assume they're gonna bring the bomb that got so far in. But looks like they fell back. Your teammate should be telling you they fell back and you should be rotating back towards A and going back to the standard 3 2. But they don't need you to be here because they're not pushing up by now, they probably fell back. Alrighty then, Ben, you guys are on game point, they're buying tech 9, forcing up basically, right? Only way you guys fuck this up if you don't hit your shots. Teammates smokes you off, teammates, fucking spike. Well, he always goes to that fucking corner and always does the best move, best flash. He dies on B. One guy, I guess, to hold B by himself while you guys back A. Looks like they're gonna come A. So let's see what your position is here. Going in the pit, really strong. You don't need this. Okay, headshot level, I just got dinked a lot. Only with the, okay, that flash, not that good because it's easy to go right by him. But you know he's on the porch, you try to get him, but he just fires you. That round. Get um, dropped, you have a pull by or pull by me. Back B again. Throw a nade down. Good damage. Oh, unless that was another nade. Otherwise, shit. Your okay, teammates get the kill right there. Ken, you have really good crosshair placement time. I think you aim at the head like a majority. It looks like they're faking the because that was a shitty season smoke as well as uh I think you heard them pick up bomb. Or pick up something. It looks like they're just gonna do like a delayed B take, right? Oh, let's see what this This time I won this round 5v3, I'm very impressed with them. Or, yeah, 5v3. Yeah, 5v3. Here, one at least, right? I think guys all rotate off. What the fuck? This is one guy. There's no reason to rotate off. Contact? Okay, I think they're gonna win this. Um, 
telling me those last guys maps. Spot a pistol last round, it's a really good economy match. Now you can buy basically this round. Do, getting head armor. I don't know if she get head armor in case you guys lose this round. Last round, anyways. So, oh, actually, never mind. Yeah, it's last round. Head armor's good. Alright, so you're playing B by yourself. You can just hit up. And you're playing a very common position. Be careful when you pump this off. It can double stack onto the wood over there and PQ and try to shoot. Door. Throw a bad smoke. Good trade. You gotta hit these shots though. Yes, yes. There's, there's no real reason for you guys for you to reload. You could have taken this guy, double dinked him in the head. You probably should have had like five. Or if it took pulls the necessary, then probably like two left. And it would have given you a little extra time because they had a very big gap between this guy and this guy. This guy was still back here when he was. So definitely could give you a lot more time to reload. But overall, it is what it is. So now I'm gonna go into the scoring section for your demo review, and I'm basically gonna tell you what you did good, what you did bad, what you need to work on, and so on. All right, All right. as you can see here, this is the scoring section. I'm basically gonna give you the overall score. As you can see, you have two green categories, which is pretty decent. On definitely need to work on here. So scores me. Well, I guess the scored in the top right corner. Basically, that's what I think you're at skill level wise. I'm so, aim. What's in there? You got cross replacement, accuracy, accuracy, trigger discipline. Cross replacement was pretty good. I gave you 7 out of 10 there, right? Most of the time. Yeah, I want to say like 70% of the time. Always aiming at the head. Really good. Right? What held you back though was your accuracy. So your tracing ability as well as your spray control. Not that good. You know to pull down, but it feels like to me that what I saw, you need to practice and learn what the spray patterns are. As well as getting better with your mouse movement. Okay, so I gave you a 2 out of 10 there. And then finally the third category for this is trigger discipline. 3 out of 5. No one with the tap first and the spray. You don't know when to tap, when you can only see their head. Tap it a little bit, right? Don't need to spray all the time. I think you did a couple bursts every once in a while when you pre-fired. Good, or taps whenever you pre-fired as well. But when it came to that, them being in a spot where they you can only see their head, you kind of just sprayed. Um, spraying's not that bad, right, if you're a good sprayer, but to me it looks like your spray needs some decent work on. Or it's like, consistent spray, no matter what you see. Next up is movement category has three sub uh, sub categories. One self basically run, walk, and just overall make noise or while you're running and stuff like that. And to me, I gave you a two out of five. Definitely got to work on that. Some parts you don't need to walk, some parts you do, but I think a majority of it is you don't need to walk. So when you're in apps, you got to learn how close you're running before they hear you as well as alt mid and banana. For some reason you just always want to walk there, especially when you see it running up, definitely don't need to walk then. Or if they're running down alt mid and apps, walk. Especially if they go apps with you. If they don't go apps, I mean you can kind of walk and try to play it off, but they're going to expect someone to be somewhere around there. So unless he dies, they're going to expect you to be there. And if enough time goes by, they're probably going to expect a couple guys to be there because it's been plenty of time for them to rotate or have two or three guys rotated into apps and try to get apps control. They'll still be ready for you. So again, keep timing in mind. Uh, positioning. I gave you a 7 out of 10. I thought you had pretty good positioning. Like the spots you chose to hold position that were good, but the angles, the way you were holding them was kind of bad. Some of them you just overexposed yourself, as well as <coughs> just 
not holding it correctly. Like if you're gonna play fountain on B site, crouch down and use the fountain as cover. Wait for them to come peek into your crosshair, right? Instead of standing up and trying to wide peek and then hiding back behind fountain or arch side overexposing your body. It. Uh, then his rotations. I thought you had really good rotations on C side and T side. Just rotating to the bomb right away, or getting bomb and rotating with your teammates, whatever. The bomb site going together and use powers and numbers unless you're going to lurk in a pug. I mean, it's really up to you to use a pug. But overall, CT side from arches to B, you have really good rotations from B to A. Um, they don't need a little more work, so I still give you a good score of 7 out of 10. So you got 16 points there, right? Which is solid. I mean, I could have been a little more strict and maybe gave you 5, but I think 7 was a really good score right there. Next up is Game Morning. So Game Sense, I give you a 4 out of 10. So you had decent Game Sense, kind of knowing where they're going to be at. Uh, on C side, T side though, you definitely need to work on where you think the enemies can be. Trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together every round and thinking, alright, so let's say the anti eco round where you got killed by the pistol truck. There's playing no one arches, you guys killed 2B, so first thing that either pops into mind, either 1, they're all stacking B, right? So there's all one got to clear it out, right? Or they're all stacking abs or in pit or in sight on A. Because they left arches wide open, or maybe he quick rotated, right? Maybe that's a so the three possible combinations, right? Or one, either the guy rotated arch, they stack B, or they're stacking truck side. Obviously, they stack truck side, and you went in and got killed by the guy falling down off a truck, and boom. So, all right, using kind of your game sense to kind of figure out where the enemies can be. In games, I'm for playing the game a lot, as well as thinking logically, because. Like, play a lot, you start building intuition about the game, and then once you think critically, logically, you kind of put the pieces together. Next up is economy awareness. I gave you a 4 out of 5, almost had perfect economy awareness, and on T-side, don't buy up just AK and armor, right? Because you need those nades, especially on Inferno. If this was like Dust 2, and you can kind of get away with it, if this was Mirage, you can kind of get away with it. But Inferno is definitely a, map, uh, a nade heavy map, where you need nades to hot flash yourself or smoke off an angle or molotov off an angle off to clear out something, right? Then is teammate positioning, or I mean, yeah, teammate positioning, I gave you a 3 out of 10. Me, kind of like when you were with your teammates, you were kind of baiting them and not really helping them, right? So let's say on T side, when you were coming up banana with your teammate that pot flashed off the fence, he went up, kind of walking, like, or need to walk there. You can play close enough to him, like you could have played like maybe three, four feet closer to him. So where he pops in, he goes in first. He dies, still close enough to get straight. But if he would have died, that guy had enough time to throw a smoke or throw a pop flash. And if you peek them, you would have died as well. Thankfully, your teammate didn't die right away. So the guy with the spike seven had to spend one extra shot trying to shoot at your guy by jumping. But with two guns trailing, he died. So again, died a little bit closer. You're not going to go in first. Second, on CT side, um, where your teammate, like if you have a teammate holding sandbags, you should play in the corner, baiting for him, or hiding all along the wall by the corner. Let him bait for you. Shoot. They focus on him. Then you pop out with either a flash or just naked, going without any flashes or kill him. Right. That's how a good way to do. That. And basically throw the enemies off guard. Right. So I give you 11 and. Have an F spot, definitely needs to work on. Finally, is grenades. So, you bought grenades every time you could, and I gave you a 5 out of 5. Used correctly, basically, didn't waste them. I think I gave 10 out of 15, most of the nades were good. I want to say more than half the round nades, but I could be wrong about that. I wasn't really keeping track of that. So, if you die while having nades out, or nades in your especially on T side, um, try to use them a little bit more or better. Uh, either don't play as aggressive with nades, or Set teammates up to play aggressive, or take a little bit slower and set yourself up with the nades. All right. Then reacting to enemy grenades, they gave you a two out of five. Turning from flashes, I think you did like half the time, and then abusing enemy smokes, if you throw bad smoke, uh, dodge their HE grenades, dodge your Molotovs. I didn't see too much of it. I really couldn't give a solid grade on it, but I still gave you a two out of five. It's in. All right. So overall, that brings you to a 56 out of 100. That's like high DM, low LE little area right there, but going back and forth, maybe really, really high MG. So I, I think that's where you're at this game. I don't know if that's your correct rank. That's kind of how, after watching this demo, I'm going to put you.
right? So if you like this, you want another demo review, or you want a one-on-one -on -one session, learn smokes, nades, positioning on different maps, always contact me for another coaching information or coaching session. Anyone else that doesn't have my information, I'll put my email address in the description box below. You can contact me through that. All right. Thanks.